Okay, Brick Maniac, so we once again have a new minifig of the month along with a new Perfect Caliber, and that means it is time to sit down with the designer, do a little designer studio episode. We're gonna do that uh, impromptu style here at Landon's desk. Landon, what are we looking at here? Here we have our all new World War II Soviet Naval Infantry, and he is decked out for combat, and he is equipped with another new item. It's a our Perfect Caliber SVT-40. And that is starts with a, uh, an original Brick Arms from Will himself at Brick Arms. Mm -hmm. right? uh, this is his all new V uh, SPT forty V two. So we have a V one back here. Uh, this one right here. Oh sure. Um, and then there's the V two is right behind it. So you can kind of see that this is a, a generational improvement to that uh, SPT forty. Yeah, boy, you can see there's quite an upgrade between those two. But then when you look at the yes. perfect caliber, it's like a whole nother level yeah and there's even a little bit of a, a red tinge that i'm adding to it because the um the finish on those uh during world war ii was actually pretty pretty red actually mm -hmm. um so i'm trying to represent that there with that uh as well the wood grain and uh the different black hardware on that so it turned out really cool um yeah that's the, that's the gun so pick up one of those as well uh the figure um starting at the top we have uh that really awesome 3d printed uh uh, pie, um, sailor cap, mm -hmm. and that's yeah, that's 3D printed in house. That's designed in house. Um, oh, it looks really good, really, especially really with those excellent. ties or whatever that is hanging down the back. Right. Um, and so the name on there is actually, um, I, I don't know, maybe a little bit of a, a poking fun at, or I don't know how you wanted to word that, but um, it's it's uh, in reference to Sevastopol um, in Russia, in which there was like a rebellion against the uh, the communists. Okay. And um, they ended up as kind of a punishment. The uh, the was it the battleship Dan? Yeah, so they took the they took the name of the battleship away. Yeah, they actually were punished, and um, that the, the ship was renamed. The ship was renamed. Oh, so funny! We just put it back on there, and it's a shortened version of it because you can't quite fit that whole word across that. Mm -hmm. But I just we needed some nice little letters on there, and it looks slick. Um, Plus, what a cool story! Almost like an Easter egg of itself. Yeah, a little bit of an Easter egg. Then you, of course, have the red star on the uh, the top of that hat. Uh, now that's all printed here in house, so that turned mm -hmm. out very well. Red stars on either sleeve. That's just kind of a slick look to it. I think. Yeah, no kidding. Um, straighten that the out here. The color of this figure. I mean, a lot of the figures, you know, to stay true to it all, it's just a lot of camo, a lot of green, a lot of black sometimes. But this. You got yellows, you got blues, right. you got reds. I mean, it's just it's it's pretty, man. What can I say? Let's uh, let's hop here over to the screen here. If we yeah, can do that. absolutely. Let's actually check out a little bit of the source uh, imagery that I was going off of. Um, as you can see, there's there's quite the mix of grenades. Um, we have uh, Maxim MG belts. Um, just just quite an assortment there, and they're they're, they're a little bit uh, you know they've been out to sea maybe for a while, so they're a little bit scruffy at times. Mm -hmm. um, and then another thing, this is sort of a late addition to the minifigure design, but I actually added. A little tuft of hair popping out the top of the head. It's just peeking out a little bit. Oh sure, yeah, look at that. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I have the just like on this uh, mini, or just like on the uh, real uh, soldier here, um, some grenades hanging off the belt, tied on, pretty uh, almost haphazardly looking. But it's mm -hmm. uh, you know they're bringing as much uh, armament into battle. Uh, whether or not they ran into battle like this with all these grenades hanging everywhere. Or if this was posed for a shot, it's kind of hard a, to know. Yeah, right. <laughs> hard to know, but propaganda he, yeah. or reality? We see him here in. It's just, that's just the standard um, uniform that uh, infantry would wear. But then they also had this more the naval, um, their naval uniform as well. Mm -hmm. And that's either a jacket or uh, this jumper here that I have them in. Um, and so this is some of the source imagery, and it, you know we have some renders as well uh, that we finished up here with the actual artwork. So let's move back onto the figure. Absolutely. All right, back on the figure here, uh, let's go over some of the details. You have this nice TT-33 tucked in behind that Maxim MG belt. So they actually used that belt, not necessarily because they had the, the Maxim machine gun with them, but that caliber, the 762x54R is the, cart is the uh, cartridge that they used. Mm -hmm. um, and that would fit in their uh, SPT-40s as well. So they would actually just tuck the bullets in there um, and reload their, their uh, weapons right there um, using that. Just bringing extra ammo to the battlefield. Um, then you see a RDG-33 grenade tucked in behind that belt as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's cool. That's some brand new artwork across the board there. Uh, a little bit of detailing on the belt buckle there, um, just to kind of simulate that naval belt buckle. Um, moving on to the sides. More grenades. More grenades. This guy's decked out. Those are the F1 grenades, uh, the little lemon grenades. 
uh, similar to um, the American, like the pineapple grenade. Yep. Um, in a lot of ways, it's, the I mean, lemon they, grenade they, and the pineapple. Yeah, they grenade. had they had a. I think that's what they called it They're, in Russian. I don't know what the translation would be to mm-hmm. Russian, but they referred to it um, as the lemon grenade um, or the little lemon. Um, and yeah, again, hang the grenade hanging down the, on the side. Those boots, some new artwork for that. Um, you can see the top of them flip down. They would do that uh, fairly often. Um, so it's just flipping it down to so it doesn't ride as high. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have, I have some gradients going on there, maybe to, to represent a little bit of a, a sheen to it. Because, hmm. you know, they're, they're made of that leather or that, or that um, shiny boot simulated leather material. Sure. Um, yeah, that's our minifigure of the month. Um, that was a lot of fun to research and design. So I hope you guys liked it as much as I did making it.